alongside my partner Caleb Moore. You're watching Wolves Live. About to go one on one with future Hall of Famer, former Atlanta Brave, Mr. Tom Glavin. Mr. Glavin, how are you doing this morning? I'm good. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. Uh, I appreciate you spending time with us on Wolves Live. Uh, I think Caleb would like to start off with a question for you. Oh, uh, yeah, Mr. Glavin. Okay. Uh, I'd like to start off by asking, uh, did you have a particular highlight of your high school baseball career? Oh, man. Um, I guess from a baseball standpoint, it would be um, winning the state championship my junior year in high school. Um, probably one of the five best games I've ever, probably ever been a part of, including my major league career. Um, I think we won. Uh, I think we won two to one. Um, I think I pitched nine innings. It was one one after nine innings, and then um, in the eleventh inning or bottom of the tenth inning, I was in center field. I threw a kid out of the plate, uh, kept it at one to one, and then we ended up scoring a run in the top of the eleventh inning to take the lead, and we ended up winning two to one. Wow, that's really impressive. Uh... How are you as a batter? Yeah, it, was, it was a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> How are you as a batter in high school? Um, I mean, I was I was a good hitter in high school. I mean, I hit uh, very similar to the way I did when I was in the big leagues. But um, you know, I I I always hit for average. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say I hit for a ton of power or anything like that. But um, I think. Uh, you know, my freshman year on my high school team, I think I led, I think I led our league in batting average, and then you know, for the next three years, I was either at the top or close. But um, like I said, never, never hit for a ton of power. I was more of a line drive hitter, a gap hitter. Uh, I hit the ball the other way a lot, much like I did uh, when I got to the big leagues. Yeah, and um, how did you prepare yourself in the off season going into your high school baseball seasons? Um, not a lot to be perfectly honest with you. Um, you know, back then things were different in terms of the sports. Uh, the sports weren't so specialized for people. You know, we weren't playing sports year round like we tend to do now. Um, you know, and for me in high school, I played hockey and baseball. So uh, hockey season would start right around Thanksgiving. Um, and usually the state tournament wouldn't wouldn't end until sometime in March, um, and baseball practice started I think March first. So I usually had about a two or three week overlap. Um, so my baseball preparation honestly would be my high school baseball coach would grab me uh, twice a week uh, during my gym class, uh, take me as class and have me go with him and go throw, um, work off the mound a little bit, and that was kind of my preparation until hockey season was over, and then I jumped into baseball full swing. Did you play any other positions in high school? I did. I was I was pretty much your typical left-hander. Uh, I pitched at first base and at center field, so, um, you know, we had a pretty good, my, especially my junior year, we had a pretty good rotation. Um, with myself and another lefty and then another hard throwing right hander. So we all kind of rotated when when the other lefty was pitching, I would play first base. And when the other righty was the righty was pitching, then the other lefty would play first and I would play center field. So we just kind of had a nice little rotation going uh, between the three of us covering the mound, first base or center field. Yeah, and uh, do you see any differences in high school baseball today and when you played? Um. I think it's like anything. Um, I think for the most part, um, the kids are a little bit bigger. Um, uh, you know, probably hit ball a little bit harder. They probably throw a little bit harder. Um, sometimes people equate kids being bigger and stronger or throwing harder with well, those kids are better than they were years ago or 20 years ago. I don't know that I agree with that. Um, I think there might be um, a, a little bit more talent in terms of guys being able to throw harder. 
but I don't necessarily think that they, they can pitch any better. That makes sense. Um, you know, I mean, I think a lot of things change over the course of time, whether it's size or speed, uh, um, what are the things guys are able to do because, you know, the game evolves more and more and, and coaches get more up and implement more things to do. Um, but you know, I'm a believer that, you know, often you hear this discussion when it comes to professional sports, you know, which era was better, uh, the guys that played in forties or the guys that are playing today, um, I mentioned that I think that they're good that would have been then. And I think guys that were good then would be good now. So what made you pick professional baseball or professional hockey? Um, you know, I just knew being a left-handed pitcher, I had an advantage in baseball that I didn't possess in hockey. Um, so at that stage of the game, I really wasn't ready to give up baseball or hockey. I was trying to go to college to play both sports. Um, and in fact, I was a better hockey player uh, coming out of high school than I was a baseball player. I probably had uh, more raw talent as a baseball player, but I was more, I was more polished as a hockey player. Um, but I think once I sat down with my dad and kind of went over the pros and the cons of each, particularly, particularly back then, I mean, that was 1984 when I graduated. So, you know, back then key players weren't playing in their thirties very much as they are today. Um, so back then I'm looking at a hockey career where I'm essentially probably going to be done by the time I was 26 or 27 years old, whereas in baseball, there's a pretty good chance I'd just be hitting my stride around that time, which I did, you know, from 26 to 20 and or 30 were probably my best year. So, um, but you know, all that side, I think I knew being a left fifth pitcher, uh, that was a, a rare commodity in baseball. It was something that I thought I could use to my pitch. And I didn't have anything like that in hockey that separated me from anybody else. Uh, now, did you have any other hobbies in high school besides sports? Not really, you know, I didn't have much time. Um, you know, I was playing, uh, you know, kind of way it kind of worked. I would play, I'd play fall hockey um, until the high school season started, and then I'd play high school baseball, and then when high school baseball was over, I'd play, you know, on a, on an American Legion team or something like that in the summer. So, uh, you know, I was playing two sports, but I was in year round for the most part. Um, you know, I, I, I like to play a little bit of golf. Um, when I was in high school, but I didn't get a, I didn't get a chance to put on with it, but I certainly enjoyed it, and that's you know probably my biggest hobby today. So um, that was kind of that was kind of all I did. Mr. Clav, I gotta ask you, how does it feel to broadcast for the Braves? You know, um, I enjoy it. It's I think for me at this stage of my life, um, it, it's it's a good opportunity for me because I'm not real sure. Uh, exactly what I want to do. Um, you know, I know uh, I don't want to jump back in uniform and and be a coach and be in the park for 160 games out of a year and stuff like that. But, you know, I also know that somewhere down the road, uh, when my kids are older, that might be something that interests me. Um, so I think for me right now, broadcasting is a good way to stay around the game. Um, it's a good way to, um, you know, keep my foot in the door do figure out if there's something that, that I want to do in uniform or, or front office or something like that. And if not, then I certainly could uh, continue to the broadcast thing, but it's fine. I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's an easy way to stay around the game. And, um, you know, it's fun going down there and watching the games and, and, you know, to be honest with you, just kind of talking about it on TV. It's, it's a pretty cool opportunity. Yeah, and uh, we, we really appreciate having you. We'll let you go now. But uh, thanks again. All right, well, Enjoy your vacation. Uh, my pleasure, and uh, it was nice talking to you guys, and good luck with your project. Thank you. All right, take care.